Here's the trick. This trick is called up the ante. Um, pretty cool little trick, and I'd like to show this to you guys right now. So the magician can, can give the cards a shuffle and a cut, and then you can hand them to the spectator, and the spectator can give the cards a cut. And we're also going to have the spectator give the cards a riffle shuffle. Um, but I need you to pick a number. Now my target number is going to be 26, but you can name any number between 18 and 34. What, what number would you like? And let's say they say 24. Okay, so we're going to deal 24 cards to the table. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. 24 cards. Now, I'm going to have the spectator riffle shuffle the two packets together. So this is not done by the magician. This is done by the spectator. And you can see it's a, an actual riffle shuffle. Okay, we'll push the cards together and square them up, and we're going to keep the cards in the same order um, that you just shuffled the cards into. Okay, now if I were to take the top two cards and deal them here, how much would you bet that one of those cards is a red card and one of those cards is a black card? And you know they could say anything here. Maybe they say, "Well, you know, I'll bet a dollar." A dollar. Okay. So what if I up the ante and I deal two cards here and two more cards here. How much would you bet me that all three pairs contain a red and a black? Would you bet $5? Sure, I'll take that bet. Okay. But what if we take it a step further? And what if I deal three more pairs of cards? How much money would you bet me that all six pairs have a red and a black? And they could say anything here. Okay, but what if we take it a step further and we up the ante here just a little bit. I'm going to deal one, two, three, four cards off the top of the deck. And remember, you shuffled the cards. But what if I was to bet you, say, $50? I'm going to bet $50 that all pairs on the table contain a red and a black card and that those four cards right there contain a club, a heart, a spade, and a diamond. Would you bet $50 on that? And they might say yes or no or whatever. You say, okay, let's up the ante just a bit. What if I deal one, two, three, four cards here and one, two, three, four cards here? Now how much would you bet that those two packets also contain a club, heart, spade, and diamond, as well as all these packets containing a red and a black? Would you bet $100? Great, we'll take $100 on that. How about a side bet over here? What if I deal two cards here? Would you bet me 50 cents that on this little side bet over here that one is red and one is black? You would? How about this? What if I deal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen cards? How much would you bet that all six of these pairs contain a red and a black? These three piles of four cards have a club, a heart, a spade, and a diamond, and that those 13 cards contain an ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, and a king in that packet. How much would you bet? Or let's take it one step further. What if I have just a few cards left? How much would you bet that the cards I have left also contain an ace to king, an ace to king? These three packets have a club, heart, spade, diamond. These are all red-black pairs, and our side bet is a red-black pair. Would you bet me $1,000 that all of that is true? And they could say yes or no. Let's take a look. Over here, we've got a red and a black. Here, a red and a black. This pair is a red and a black. A red and a black. That's a red and a black. This is a red and a black. We then dealt four cards over here, which we said should be a club, a heart, a spade, and a diamond. Okay? We dealt four cards up here, which also should be a club, a heart, there should be a spade, and a diamond in that packet. This packet over here, we should also see a club, a heart, a spade, and a diamond in that packet. We had a side bet over here of a red and a black, and you can see there's a black and there's a red. Made a wager up here that this packet would contain an ace, a 
there should be a 2, we should have a 3, there's a 4, this packet should contain a 5, um, we've got a 6, here's a 7, uh, there's an 8, a 9, a 10, there's a jack, one queen, and one king. I got one packet to go. How cool would this be if this packet also has an ace, a two, a three, a four, uh, a five, we've got a six, here's a seven, I've got an eight, there's a nine, it contains a ten, I do see a jack, here I've got a queen, and that is a king. That is a blockbuster of an effect. It's called Up the Ante. Um, it's created by Martin Smith. And it's a really, really great trick. Um, I don't think you can follow that. That's a closer.